Hey everybody, it's me Sandy and I'm back with another nail art video. This week we're going to use some beautiful purple and holographic nail polish to create a great look for New Year's Eve. Of course I'm starting off with my favorite base coat which is Anchor by Zoya. So now that my base coat is dry, it's time to put on the polish. And the first polish is Aurora by Zoya. It's a beautiful purple. I'm really, really liking how um, this one just hits the light. And the other one, the feature nail and the design polish I'm going to use is Cotton Headed Mini Muggins by Super Chic Lacquer. I am going to start off by painting each of my ring fingers with my accent color, which is Cotton Headed Mini Muggins. And as usual, all the products will be listed in the description box. Okay, so now it's time to put on the Aurora by Zoya. I did already do my right hand, so now I'm just going to lay down the first coat on my left hand. I am going to follow that up with a second coat on both hands, and then I will see you once that's dry. So now I'm going to put on a coat of Seshvit Fast Drying Top Coat because I am going to be using nail striping tape. I want to make sure that I've got a fast drying top coat down, that it's completely dry before I lay down the striping tape. So now that my nails are dry, I'm ready to place on the striping tape. As you can see, I've just put some gemstones or rhinestones um, down there just to get ready for the next step. As well, I've also pre-cut my striping tape and placed it off to the side. So I am using a combination of my just my fingers to lay it down and my tweezers I found that was a little awkward either way. Um, I'm a bit of a perfectionist and I was trying to line it up exactly perfect but not stick it down too hard so it didn't come back up but I did manage to finally get the design I was wanting. Um, I do have my pre-cut pieces of striping tape sitting on my camera tripod in front of me so that's why you keep seeing my hand go off camera but as you can see I'm not the most Oh, let's just say I'm a little clumsy. So laying down the striping tape was a, a bit of a challenge for me, but I managed to get it done. Just going to tap it down there before placing on the accent color, which is the Cotton Headed Ninny Muggins. Yes, I really just have to keep saying that. I just love the name of that polish. Now I'm giving it a press down with a rubber cuticle pusher just so that my lines will be crisp um, but don't do that until you have the tape exactly where you want it and I am just kind of pulling it down my finger so that it stays in place before putting on that wonderful cotton headed ninny muggins polish. Now I am going to lay down the striping tape on all of my fingers before I paint the accent triangle just because I I think it's just easier to get it done on there, get them all the way I want them, and then place the polish down. But I did find that I was much more awkward with my tweezers.
So now that I have the striping tape exactly where I want it, I'm going to lay down my some of my accent polish on my silicone mat. Uh, it'll just be easier to get my nail art brush in there. I'm not going to use the brush that comes with the polish bottle to do this because it's going to be a little bit more fine and delicate and I want to make sure I, I color within the lines. You need to color within the lines on this one, although it is pretty easy to fix if you manage to color outside the lines, but it was much easier with a nail art brush. So just like with nail vinyls, once I was um, satisfied with how much of the accent color I had on my nails, I did pull the striping tape off right away so that it's off, doesn't have a chance to dry so it doesn't pull up the design. And yes, you can leave striping tape on if it's part of your design, but in this case I was just using it as a guide. So for the other three nails with the accent color, I did this again, just adding polish to my silicone mat as needed. and pulling off the striping tape as soon as I had that nail done. So after I was done pulling off all the striping tape and had been finished with the accent color, I did put down some of my Aurora and used a finer um, line detail brush to clean up some of the lines on the design. So I did end up putting some striping tape back on my thumb because I didn't like where the triangle had ended. I wanted it closer to my cuticle. So I just redid that one with the cotton head and ninny muggins. <laughs> That's so much fun. Love the name of that polish. Anyways, I did end up doing that one again, um, just replacing some striping tape on and making sure that the V or the point of the triangle was right at my cuticle um, so that it looked exactly the way I wanted it. Okay, so now that some of that is pretty much dry, I'm going to go and throw my rhinestones on. Throw, right. Anyways, I'm using the top coat method because I found that that works best for me. I found trying to use nail glue and then doing the top coat over it, I was contaminating my top coat. So what I'm going to do here is just put my dotting tool in the top coat, put a little bit on my nail, maybe a little more, grab one of the rhinestones and drop it into the top coat. 
and I will just repeat that for all the rest of my nails that have the triangle accent on them. So now that my nails are completely dry, I'm going to follow up with my favorite top coat, Armor by Zoya. I am so happy with how this design turned out. So I really hope you liked this video, and if you did, if you could go down and hit that like button, as well as subscribe and hit the post notification bell so you can find out when I upload a new video. Thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.